Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Today, we're going to take a look at Zone 4, and this is a free-to-play fighting MMO. Let's get started. As you can see, we've got our character creation here. We've got six different characters that we can actually choose from, so let's go through them real quick. So basically, we're on Wells, a male 28-year-old, Ray, 21, Juni, male 16, and we've got our females, Lil Rue, Nikki, and Sarah. So I think I'm actually going to go with, uh, let's go with Ray. You can see each of them have their own little description, stuff like that. He's a busy, he's busy rebuilding the Saints Association and FFC according to Roddy Hart's will. All right, that sounds good. Let's confirm. We can do a little bit of customization, not too, not too much. Interesting enough, hairstyle. So we've got hairstyle and color. We're going to go with black. Let's go with upper style. So we've got, let's go with a gray shirt, lower style. Let's go with, uh, not khaki, we'll go with these green. Shoe style, let's go with black. And skin, only two options, but we'll go with the lighter one. And let's confirm. And then we're gonna select a class. We got street, this is a standard fighter style, which crushes the main skill when you reach level 10. You can change the class to Taekwondo, Boxing, Muay Thai. Rush is standard ground fighting style, which concentrates mainly on hold skill when you reach level 10. You change class to Pro Wrestling, Judo, or Hapkido. So it's kind of cool, you've got two different classes that you can essentially choose from with uh, this character and uh, and then progress forward with uh, with some extra, with, with some, some more in-depth, you know, like Taekwondo here, boxing. We're gonna go with that one. Let's go with street, and uh, later on we'll move on to Taekwondo, boxing, Muay Thai. So let's confirm, and we get to pick our name. So let's go with this, and let's create. Hopefully the name's not taken, and there we go. So are we got our little speaker man guy in zone four, and that's actually his name. And uh, so basically he's giving us kind of a little bit of uh, information. So we're gonna move basic movement, two types of movement, space, move around with directional keys. All right, so let's get through this. So we're gonna move around to all these little spots. There we go, there's one, and there's two, there's three and four. All right, so we completed that. So I mean, basic movement is, as far as the game, uh, Structure is concerned. A lot of fighter, a lot of fight em type games are just like this. So, all right, so we're continue. But it's kind of cool. We did get uh, some experience and Zen for completing those quests. So, let's see here. So, let's confirm and move on. So now we need to dash the mark position. So we're gonna we're gonna take and we're gonna double tap and run around to all these little spots. All right, so pretty simple stuff. But as you can see, it's definitely worth it to actually do this because not only does it give you, it's kind of funny, he's got this teddy bear hanging off his back. It's kind of like a cape, but um, so we never learn basic movement and sprinting. But it's cool because it gives you kind of the basic structure of the game and how to move around and all that stuff. But it also gives you rewards. Like you saw, I got experience and stuff like that. So it's, so you can attack pressing the D key. All right, so let's go ahead and, and it looks like we've got some combos and stuff like that. So knock down the speaker man using the D key. So attack with fists or feet, DDD, combo attained by pressing the button, button continuously. So there we go. So we got our little combo. You can also skip through this. You can see down the bottom, you got F1 or escape for help. I'm gonna kind of go through this real quick because it actually looks like it's worth it because we're gonna get all this different experience and stuff like that. So S is a hold. So we can go ahead and grab a hold of him and start beating the crap out of him once we've, once we've grabbed a hold. Oh, there we go. So it looks like we've got a bunch of different moves that we can actually uh, we can actually use while we're uh, while we're fighting these guys. So all right, so so hit attack, grab attack, and dodge. So so we put a dodge, just hit attacks, grab attacks. Oh, looks like we've got a little misspelling. Hit attacks are strong against grab attacks, but we against dodges. The basic move can be performed by pressing the A key. All right. So how about we turn around? And we're getting our butt kicked because I got all spun around. So we got a little counter in there. Do A at the right time. So basically A is just like your counter. So if you if you do it just right, you're gonna actually counter and hit your opponent. So offensive maneuvers. Q, W, and E, you've got basic, combo, and extreme. So basic attacks are the best dodging attacks. All right, so let's get through this. And let's, uh, oh, there we go, there's our Q. So now let's, uh, let's try the, the W one. 
so there we go. There's a W1. Let's go Extreme. Extreme is basically just <laughs> a one-shot, one kill. So, I mean, use Extreme and you're going to take the guy out big time. So, double attack when two enemies are close by pressing the S key. So, double attack will be devastating. All right, come on. Let's get through this. So, we need both of these guys to get nice and close. I'm pressing the S key. There we go. Oh, that was pretty sweet. So you've got some pretty cool maneuvers, which is kind of nice to see when you're, you know, you're playing a game like this to see that it's more than just, you know, punch, punch, kick, kick, you know, all that type of stuff. So it's kind of neat to see that you've got all these different maneuvers and you've got things like grappling and, and stuff like that. So really neat to see all this stuff. So support player also used run KO point. Keep that in mind. All right. So let's go through. Perform a successful team attack. Automatically executed when you reach the same... There we go. So basically it's when both of you do the exact same thing on a on an opponent. Alright, so we're 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 really gonna be uh be fighting here. Let's see how bad this goes. So we got a we got a little power up actually, so that wasn't bad. It was just showing that we got a little power up and then we used F to uh, use the power up. And then we got weapons. So you got all kinds of stuff going on in this game, which is really kind of cool. So we're going to use the F key to pick it up, and once you have it in the end, D and S to actually attack. So, alright, let's go pick it up, and then <laughs> we just sucker onto this onto the speaker face, dude. So there we go, so D and S will attack, hold attack, and you can see all kinds of different stuff. You can actually throw your items as well, which is kind of interesting. At least you know nothing like the real thing. All right, so here we go. We're out of here. Now we're on to the actual... It has somewhat of a like little lobby, persistent world type of thing. So Zone 6 Village, inspiring sponsor. Now we actually have different quests that we could pick up. So PvP Bomb, Boom Ball, Powerful Zombie Mode has arrived. We've got a Zombie Defense, Hard Mode. So you've got all kinds of different modes and stuff going on as well. So here we go. Welcome to Zone 6. The main base is Saint, solely constructed by blah, blah, blah. So visit the speaker man located to the right of the town fountain. Press W to open the map and you can confirm where speaker man is located. All right, let's confirm. So not only that, but look at, I mean, look at all the customization in some of these different characters. It's awesome to see all these different, all these different players are totally tricked out in all kinds of different costumes and all kinds of different items. Looks like these guys right here are actually mining some sort of equipment or some sort of, uh, uh, element of some kind. So let's actually go talk to the speaker man real quick. Let's, act, let's see if we can actually get it, get it to where we can talk to him. I don't know what we need to. Uh, it's just space bar. So there we go. So challenge mission, store communication. So challenge mission is so you can actually go through all this different stuff. You can see all kinds of different things. But it's really cool that the game actually has quests. So there's more than just you know fighting around. So we're gonna complete that one. We're gonna get this red potion. And he's got another quest for us. And you can just hit spacebar to actually interact with him when you're close. So let's play Boom Ball. So return to me after completing five matches of Boom Ball. And then we're going to get a double metal drill. So here we go. You can drill to get various items and zen out of town square. Double metal drill increases the speed of digging by two times. All right. So that's what those guys are doing that we saw around here. They are actually dri drilling for zen. So now in here we can do a lot of different things. We've got mail, so we can mail back and forth. We've got let's check out my info, so you can see all the different stuff that's going on. My attack, my defense. You've got different items that you can equip. You can see my fighter, my name, my class. You've got my profile. Then you've got skills, so you can actually see some of the different skills and stuff like that, and skills in, in possession. So we can actually use some of these skills and then assign them here as we earn them. It looks like we, we're going to have to get some uh, some points and then be able to, to use all those. But you've got all kinds of different ones, whether it be crushing skills, hold, special, double team, or miscellaneous. So it's kind of cool that you can really you know power up all kinds of different skills, stuff like that. Then you've got history and ranking, so based upon the different types of things that you do experience, ladder, KO, MVP, all kinds of different stuff. Then you've got title Nick. Well, I am a newbie, but I can't even use that yet, so there's some fun stuff there. We've got our bag right now. We've got nothing in here except for some miscellaneous. We've got life up. We've got a zombie defense ticket, defense ticket hard, and a red potion. And it looks like you've got a lot of different places to actually pick up different items and things like that. Then we have our quest, which we picked up. We've got our little map up here in the upper corner. Let's see real quick options. 
Now, unfortunately... Oh, there we go. So we can actually up the... Uh, the In here, we can actually up the uh, resolution here. But I'm actually going to leave it where it is. Because I started recording at this, and if I change it right now, it's going to kind of boink out. So we'll go ahead and confirm. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause it, and then I'm going to change it, and then that'll work. So hang tight. I'll be right back. So there we go. We changed the resolution. You can see, I mean, the graphics, they're still, you know, this cel-shaded graphics. But much, much better, much crisper, everything about it. Obviously, it's now widescreen because I'm now 1920 by 1200. So, I mean, all kinds of different stuff as far as that's concerned is, is really cool. But you can see here I've got this little arrow, which I'm guessing it's pointing me to where I need to go for my quest. So we've got H Road Arcade, but that's not where it's leading me to. And you can see there's also some other arrows there leading me to kind of the left and upper left, which is where I'd need to go if I want to take and I want to actually pick up some other quests. We can hit... Uh, M for messenger. I think it was W for map. No, nope, I can't remember. So we've got our we've got our own room. We've got events that are going on, which we saw some of that stuff flashing across the screen. Um, what else we have? And then obviously we have the shop and stuff like that. But you know what? Let's go in here and let's get into a match versus arena. And we've got village, town square, blah blah blah. Warfare. We've got PvP. We've got extreme beginner let's go into beginner and see what we can get ourselves into here so now we're in our the actual lobby we can see there's a bunch of people here and you can see their actual uh their actual class we got capoeira you got muay thai hakido all kinds of different stuff so let's go ahead and you know what let's just jump into this one we're probably going to get our asses handed to us so we've got a level 11 so let's go ahead and get ready <laughs> this guy's level 8 he's got his kind of like ninja outfit on this guy's level 11 he's still sitting in his kind of newbie gear everybody's kind of in their newbie gear pretty much so now we're just waiting and then we there we go we've got another guy come in so it looks like the maps are changing in the background as well we got random we've got all kinds of stuff going on here and this is 4v4 so we're probably gonna have to wait a little bit it's a five minute max I'm actually going to pause this until I get into the game and then I'll start it back up so we can get in there and start fighting, show you guys what that's all about. Vote to kick Darkstalker. I don't know. Should we kick him? I'm usually not. Oh, looks like we're already going in. So that kick didn't work, but here we go. We're getting in there. So. There we go. Getting a little bit of, getting a little bit of fight in. There we go, slam him down on the ground. Oh, he jumped up and... Let's see if we can't uh, take him down. He's running away because he knows he's, he's going to die. There we go, nice little team attack. Me and my buddy teamed up on him, took him out. Let's see where we need to head, head to now. Let's pick up some, some items here. It looks like we need to get over here. Oh. That guy's actually working the both of us right now. Not sure what happened there, but... Oops, I accidentally blew myself up, it looks like. So it looks like even though once you once you actually are all the way down, you regenerate and get back up. So there we go. That guy pretty much took him down on the way. So we're gonna try and break our way through here, I guess. So it's pretty fun. I mean, it's pretty hectic as far as everything that's going on. You've got you've got. You know, battles going on. I mean, you're fighting somebody almost the entire time. And it's cool because they, you know, as soon as they go down, they come pretty much right back up. Get this item. Oh, walked right into a nice little roundhouse, and so did he. Jump up here. Not sure how we can actually jump. There we go. Now those little, now those, uh, those tires are out of the way, so we can head over here and start fighting other guys as well. Yeah, 
these boxes are all over the place. So it's pretty cool that you can actually pick those up and use those all the time. So that guy's actually... Oh, I walked right into that, didn't I? Little spinning, uh, spinning kick. So it, I think it's really cool the fact that it's got all these different moves that are going on and stuff like that. So it looks like we're just going to triple team on this guy right here right now. Take him down. And uh, where did the other guys go? Must have ran over here. So you can do little backflips if you get the if you get running around. So that's pretty cool. I, I just like the fact that there's so much variety as far as the, all the fighting is concerned and stuff like that. There's just a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on as far as uh, the different the different maneuvers that you have, the different the different uh, actual skills. The different uh, fighting tip maneuvers. Oh, that guy just totally waxed both of us. And put himself way ahead. We're gonna have to take him out. We're gonna have to, have to take him out twice now, because now we're losing eight to seven because he just waxed the both of us. So last minute. There we go. Actually, it wasn't there we go. I thought it was that guy that went down, but it was actually uh, their guy or uh, our guy that went down. So we gotta get, uh, we gotta take this guy out. Make sure that I don't die. See, we can't tie this up in the last 30 seconds. There we go. Tied it up with 20 seconds to go. Let's see if we can pull out the win. No! And unfortunately, he was able to just work me in that one la that one shot. He was able to... Uh... We got two seconds to take him out. No, he won by, by half a health point. Whatever. Either way, you guys kind of get the idea. I think the game is pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Different type of stuff is going on. It's a nice little fighter beat him up. It kind of sucks that all those other guys got the win too because it was pretty much just that one guy. If there were other guys there, we would have been able to take them out as well. But the game does have several different modes. So let's go in and let's actually create a room real quick. See all the different modes that you have. So you got match selection. You got death match, team elimination. You got survival. And then you got boom ball, which is new, which is the one that I obviously have the quest for. Probably why the quest is there because they want you to actually do that one. You can do single or team, so you can actually take and do single match. You know what? Let's do let's do a boom ball. Let's do uh, let's do a team, and uh, then you can do four versus four, three versus three, and then just confirm real quick. Hey, okay, all you bring it on. So let's go out here and see if there's any boom balls that are going on. Boom ball team, waiting, waiting, waiting. So let's jump into this one. There's a high level character in this room. Would you still like to enter? Sure, why not? Let's go see what he looks like. So where is he? 17? Nope. I don't I didn't get to see him. So it's pretty funny she's that chick right there carrying that gigantic hammer. So essentially Boom Ball looks almost like a uh, almost like a, a soccer type or a football. Let's see if we can catch this guy. Before he gets in the end zone, where'd he go? Oh, I see. So basically, the more the more points or the, the little areas that you go to, you can get more points. Some of my guys to start helping me out here. This guy's taking off with the boom ball. There we go. Double KO. So let's pick this up and let's go. You can jump all over me all you want, dude. 
I'm dead, but my guys are gonna get in the uh, in the end zone. Oh, we only got 80 points. So either way, pretty cool little mode that they've got here. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me right there, but that's all right. I think you know, anytime these these fighter type games have like different modes like this. Oh, a triple kill. That's so screwed. They're gonna run it into the end zone right now. But anytime these games have these uh, these different modes like this, it's always pretty neat to see. Oh, getting a little worked. Where did our guy go? Somebody needs to pick up the bomb. Oh, of course. Got worked again. Need to start using my extreme power there. So time out, but we got the points because it was in our end zone. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. And don't forget to uh, actually like and comment and tell us anything that we missed or anything you wish we would have talked about. And if you'd like to play or learn more about Zone 4, you can read our full review at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching.